it's time for another not so big vlog. So October has been a pretty nice month, um, not necessarily weather-wise, but in terms of gigs and happenings, it's been really good fun. I played Peter Express up in Solihull. <laughs> After that, on the weekend, I had Oktoberfest at the Potting Shed. Though so I had an issue with Gloria breaking her A string again, and which meant that I played most of the guitar songs on BB, which actually made for a nice change. I was really, I really enjoyed that switch up, uh, for certainly for songs like Risk. It's a different sonic sound, which I could get used to including, especially for the band shows. So that may have some things to change. But also, I played What If I With Els on her debut album launch show in Christchurch in Bristol. Just backstage, about to go on do What If I With Els. This is super exciting to be a part of this. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, this is so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. I need to rush up now, so to film a bit of the next one. Yeah. Really special. I, as most of you know, if you know me, Els and I are very good friends now and have been for quite a while. crazy awesome human being um, which is always great to hang out with as well as Emmy McDade she was there as well um, supporting uh, she played the opening slot uh, which is fantastic her voice is incredible but yeah Els did a superb job the band did a superb job the album is going really well what if I is being received really well which is a great heartening thing for me as a songwriter because I'm not just George Ah, on stage. Man, I do love my songwriting as the Ten Characters project proved. And it's nice that when I've now collaborated, those songs are being recognised in their own right as well. Uh, yeah, so I also went, and I don't know how much of this I can say or what I can say, but Els I know has said that she has been in the studio again, so I can say that I was in the studio with her, wasn't doing any singing, I was just there with the camera and capturing some video stuff which I'm going to put together for her um, because I, I like that and it's quite nice now I know what she does and how she performs and things, that's quite a nice thing to be able to latch onto and to edit and cut and to the beat and things. If you haven't watched the Wildfire video, her first single from her album, I shot that with her. It was just literally me and her in freezing cold uh, Bristol Harborside um, for the morning and then throughout the day and then we um, had our boxer champ come in as well, which is really cool. Uh, in sort of other fun news, I got to go and see the Hoosiers uh, at Strauss Subscription Rooms, which was a sensational gig. Those guys are phenomenal performers and their stagecraft is beautiful to witness. It was a really, really fun gig and nice to just be there as like a fan. I'd forgot, I sometimes I forget what it's like to you know, be that guy in the crowd going. Um, and that was a really cool gig because those songs, it was their 10th anniversary tour for The Trick To Life, so you know, Goodbye Mr. Ray. That album is 10 years old and they wanted to play the whole thing from start to finish. So it was fantastic. It was a really cool gig. Thanks. Goodbye Mr. Stroud. Thanks for having us.
do it again. Oh, keeps happening. We're used to closing uh, pretty much every gig we've ever played for the last 10 years with that. So we're we'll doing that again. again. See you later. Yeah. I'm usually asleep at this point on the show after playing that song. The very next night I was down in Camden celebrating Shlomo's birthday. Uh, where he played a sellout gig at Camden Assembly, the place where I played a month ago, and he was awesome. His new stuff is so good, and I'm ever so grateful to him for still being on almost, well, not almost, being on friend terms. I feel I can consider him a friend, and that's a lovely thing to be able to have someone in the industry who's like a different part but because of the beatboxing and the stuff that we do it is really nice to have him there and be a part of it. At the end of October I'm playing for a very dear friend of mine, uh, Jay Marshall, who is a choreographer and every sort of year or like end of term, she runs a dance sort of really a school, but it's like an after school thing. And they have these amazing dancers who are doing routines that I couldn't even begin to do. But every, it's kind of like a tradition now that I'll come and play a song. And I asked her and she actually had time this time to choreograph to one of my songs. So there are still tickets left. And if you want to see someone dance live whilst I play one of the 10 character songs, I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but there will be video evidence later. Come and see it. It's at the Bacon Theatre in Cheltenham on the 29th, Sunday the 29th of October. And it's going to be an amazing show. You'll be blown away by the dancing anyway. But yeah, there's an act one and act two. I'm playing a couple of bits and then act one, Jay is going to dance. An amazing piece of choreography. Nothing's really happening in November until the end but I am supporting Andrew Rochford at the stables in Milton Keynes on the 28th and I'm also playing Tank in Gloucester on the 30th of November but also I'm really excited about this I'm finally getting to play Ronnie Scott's. I'm playing uh, the TV nights upstairs um, on Tuesday the 5th of December so Ronnie Scott's London, here I come. And I've just also confirmed another Pizza Express in Winchester on the 14th. There are also, there's a couple of dates in January next year. Um, there's Stroud at the Prince Albert. I'm playing Finally Back, yeah! And also um, the Roses Theatre in Tewkesbury, which I'm playing on the 19th. So Prince Albert is on the 13th, Tewkesbury is on the 19th. So, yeah. It's shaping up to be quite a nice end to the year and going on into 2018. So if I don't record one before, happy Halloween and have a great rest of your October. See you on the next one. Bye. One final thing, just a little sneaky awesome thing. Emily has been working on some more art for the 10 characters and she sent through four more so now I've got six and I'll just leave them here with a little snippet of each of the songs so that you can hear and see what she's doing because it's really cool. Are you gonna treat me like Loki? Cause the painter is a gentleman Stay tuned to my social media and subscribe to the mailing list if you're not already. Um, 10 characters. Not soon.